I'm always looking for something a bit off the beaten track for Heart Minutes, or perhaps even something that sounds flat out weird. Here's one of those reports in relation to stem cell therapy after myocardial infarction. We've all been disappointed in the past by the modest effects of clinical studies using intracoronary administration of stem cells in patients with post-MI heart failure. This lack of effect may be attributed to impaired homing of stem cells to the target area. Now in JAMA, there is a study that points out that extracorporeal shock treatment has been experimentally shown to increase homing factors in the target tissue, resulting in enhanced retention of applied cells. Who knew? The report tested the hypothesis that targeted cardiac shock wave pretreatment with subsequent intracoronary stem cell therapy improves left ventricular ejection fraction in patients with heart failure. This so-called cell wave study was done in Frankfurt, Germany. Shock wave pretreatment was targeted to the left ventricular anterior wall, and 24 hours later, patients receiving shock wave pretreatment were randomized to receive double-blind intracoronary infusion of stem cells or placebo. And patients receiving placebo shock wave received only intracoronary infusion of stem cells. Here's the intriguing outcome. Ejection fraction was significantly improved in the shockwave plus stem cell group with an absolute change in LVEF of 3.2% compared with the shockwave placebo infusion group. In addition, regional wall thickening improved significantly in the shockwave stem cell group, but not in the shockwave placebo infusion group. And clinically, overall occurrence of major adverse cardiac events was significantly less frequent in the shockwave stem cell group. Now, I'm not particularly impressed by the increased injection fraction of only 3%, but nonetheless, the results are intriguing, determining whether the increase in contractile function will translate into improved clinical outcomes required confirmation, of course, in larger clinical endpoint trials. Cardiology always has surprises for us, as does Mother Nature, and this sounds a bit weird, but fascinating. I'm Peter Block, and this is a Cardiosource Heart Minute.